I forgot to change this little. It's okay. I just need to re-add the camera. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Welcome, to the, Welcome to the black black screen stream. Welcome to the black. That's a Firefly reference. It wasn't, but we're gonna say it is because. <laughs> hey, that's a good shot. Hey, know, there we are. Bye. Fixed it. <laughs> What's Welcome. up, nerds? Welcome, guys, to episode number sixteen. Super sweet sixteen, oh or God. get this is today as I like to call it our scary sweet sixteen. <laughs> what, what about what a VRE mm. special episode? No, it's, it's a VRE special episode. No, no. I mean, I, I uh, guess. I guess. So. Um, well, so if you guys haven't uh, uh, read by now, way. today we're going to be playing a little VR game called Until Dawn: Rush of Blood. Uh, it is a Rail shooter in VR. Um, it is. It, it has to do. It, it's in the Until Dawn world. So if anybody's played Until Dawn, you might see a little reference here and there. Um, so it's in a world, or is it the same characters or new characters? It. It's got a little. It's got a little bit of the same characters, but it has nothing to do with the story. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's totally the, standalone, it's, but it's attached. Yeah, it's okay. completely standalone, but it's. I'll kind of explain as we're playing because I actually. Um, might have some, you know, information about certain characters and what I think is going on. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be playing, and it is kind of a, a horror esque game. Um, and I'll get set up. You guys want to talk to him real quick? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So I've actually only played through Until Dawn once. For those of you, when was it a free game? November, December, Probably. recently. Yeah. So recently, it was a free game on PlayStation Plus. I'm gonna try this We're gonna get real up. close here. Okay, so, so you guys two scooch is, in. Which is left and which is right? The microphone. The microphone goes tells one. you. And it the the microphone down. only goes one way, Eric. Your right hand under your thumb. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't see it. How many people does it take to point out a microphone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. oh my God! You're gonna get sick tonight, it, everyone. It, it, it'll be okay. So get your barf bags oh, yeah. ready because this is yeah, probably truly a roller coaster. Thank you. So anyways, uh, Until Dr. Dawn was a free download uh, a few months back, um, if you had PlayStation Whatever Plus. Was. Definitely should have taken advantage of it. If you missed it, the game's probably what, under 20 bucks by now. Oh yeah, I think it's down to 20 at least. It's worth playing. Like, honestly, it's a really oh, solid sure. game. Yeah. Sarah, you want to help him out? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know where he is. <laughs> I feel like I should put the camera on. I know, I want to switch that. to the gameplay one. Yeah, let's, let's show up. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So you can get an idea how silly this looks. Hey um, Sarah, can you hold this? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> now to be clear, um, we had a, several conversations about how to do this. Uh, the the, the sure. nifty little uh, overlay layout we've got going on here. Um, Eric put this one together after oh, Travis and whoa. I <laughs> went back and forth on him like four times about how we wanted to do the video as to whether or not we were just going to have the camera on the couch and then the gameplay uh, on the TV like normal or if we were going to do uh, us off camera with the camera on Eric or if we were going to hook up two cameras which we ultimately did. Um, so the conversation went back and forth a little bit and uh, ultimately we came to the conclusion this was the correct way to go solely so you could enjoy how goofy Eric's going to look. <laughs> Yeah, you're in for a treat. <laughs> as much as we are. But he's still he's still checking his phone. Look at, how do you look at his phone? Gotta get the text in. Oh my god. Do you Shut see up. the face he's making right yeah, now? Yeah, what is oh. that? I can't. I'm looking through <laughs> the bottom of my glasses. I really wish we had uh, set up a scene where it was just his camera, so we could make his camera all huge right now. I would do it, but I don't want to risk screwing anything else up. I mean, no, I mean they can see. Like, look at. No, I know. Look at how you gotta get a good look at that. <laughs> Jesus. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. You got, you got two going. Are y'all home ready? <laughs> oh, let them know. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, this might be a little bit of a long stream because we're going to try to do the whole game if possible. And you're staying it's, up late with some horror stuff with us tonight. Yeah. So we're starting uh, late. We're going late. All right. So for those of you who stuck it out and waited so, for us to go live, thank you. Um, how am I arm-wise? Full screen, man. No, I mean, like, am I going to hit shit? 
Oh, no, no, you're, no, no, you're just there. I mean, your left arm is off the camera, but you're not like. Oh, I'm not gonna go that far. You're not gonna yeah, push. Yeah, as long as it. Sarah doesn't like get all up in, right in your, your zone, you'll be alright. Hey, look, idiot. So, for anybody who has never played um, until dawn, it is a horror. Look like he was shot. What? I'm going to take off one of these. Oh, Rob, you played Until Dawn with... You watched me play, right? Yeah, no, I never actually played Until Dawn because... Uh, screw that noise. Uh, really? Yeah, no. You're I, not big into horror movies? I, I have two bad of anxiety. Look, let me tell you this. Um, <laughs> and you can use this to gauge how I feel about horror games. Oh, okay. Um, you just struck me as a type that you're really into horror games. I love horror movies. But okay. in the original Bioshock, in the beginning of the game, it's all dark and tense and spooky oh. up until you meet the first uh, splicer, you know, and like it's it's all very, very oh, tense. God. I never made it past that part of the game for the better part of a year because I could only play it in like I might half hour increments. How did you do that <laughs> first? You didn't touch that. Hold, hold on, we'll come back to that. Okay. Um, oh, I, it oh, took God. me. Oh, oh. It <laughs> took me. Trust me, just gonna jump out. Literally like a month it's to get past the, the beginning part of the game where it goes from being uh, like jump scare horror moments to actual Bioshock gameplay because Fair. I just couldn't no. like I would get so tense I'd be like I don't want to run the corner I'm gonna go back it's safer over there and I just I would save it put it down and I come back to it later um, Dead Space I did a little bit better with because the first time I played it we were in the living room of the house we were renting at the time. Uh, and I played it at like three o'clock in the afternoon no, with the no. curtains open because I was just like, okay, it's it's a it's it's a horror game, but whatever. Let's you know, this is when I've got time. Let's play it. And so like I did that, and I had other people in the room, and you know it was okay. It was just it was just a, a slightly spoopy game. Uh, I hate myself for saying that out loud just now. I was gonna say um, you're as bad as me. It I like. yeah, I resent myself. Uh, but the second time, I was actually really proud of myself because I started the game over and we didn't start playing it until 11 o'clock at night and we closed all the curtains and turned off every light in the house and it was just me and like two other people. And I, I you know, I'd only gotten maybe 45 minutes into the game the first time. So it wasn't like I had to redo a bunch of stuff. But the second time I, I played Dead Space, I, I played it right. I got several hours into it, but... Again, that was one of those like with the support of my peers kind of thing. Like I couldn't, See, I couldn't I do it with myself. the headphones pitch black. Oh, screw that! No like, oh, way! Oh, oh my God, so much fun! It's the best way. Have you ever seen the live video of me from the PT? I no, did. I keep meaning to watch it though because it seems <laughs> oh, like it would be hilarious. It's <laughs> it. Oh man. I, I took the headset off and gave it to Travis at one point, so I was like, I can't. Nope, can't do it. So this is where it gets fun because if you notice, I'm on a track and I'm at a carnival. So needless to say, there's going to be some roller coasting. <gasps> yeah, no, no. Right? Hey, look at that. Weekly dosage, dosage is actually a, a hashtag that it auto fills now. Nice. Like, I don't have to type the whole thing out anymore. Look at the fancy. I'll just try So little bit of insight about this. This guy right here, um, if anybody's ever played Until Dawn, this guy resembles the Doctor from the beginning of the game. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I didn't think he looked that much like Peter. Well, he resembles him. He's not, I think he's supposed to be kind of the same, but not. Now, the same developers make this, or do they license their, um, you know, license their license? No, I think this is super massive. Okay. Which... Uh, that's another one I actually want us to uh, to take a look at is they did uh, recently ish they did another game uh, called uh, Hidden Agenda and it oh yeah and look at this. VR or no no go ahead oh, oh you got to yeah you got to duck oh, through no this stuff way. yeah because it uses the uh, you guys see all the blue lights on the the headset there. Um, oh god. If you're not familiar. You're going uphill. Put your yeah. hands up. Oh my god, the, uh, my body. Ease up, ease up. Put your hands in the air. <laughs> Good call, Kronk. Um, for those who aren't familiar with the way the system works, the, the PlayStation camera uses the lights uh, on the tips of the motion controllers as well as the multiple lights all over the PlayStation VR headset in order to track motion. Uh, what you can't see right now, and you may not actually see it all through the course of the stream, is there is actually a pair of lights on the back of the visor as well, 
Um, because, yeah, there you go. Eric just whipping his head around to show him off. Um, there are, in fact, games oh that will no, require no, 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 no. you to, to turn in a full uh, 180. Oh, yeah, okay, I kind of want to play it down. I kind of want to play it down. I want to play it down. It's so cool. the roller coaster. Um, Do they have a roller coaster game? In the VR? I don't think so, but they do have, uh, my older son David, uh, who I hope is watching. Carnival VR? No, 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 Carnival Games VR is, is awesome as well, but he actually Ooh. scooped up this game called Megaton Rising, where you oh, basically, oh. yeah, it gets way faster now, um, you play as a superhero in the VR headset, so, like, you yes. can fly so, so into yeah. the city. And like, oh, oh, by the way, oh. that guy there with the weird creepy mask, that's uh -huh. um, uh -huh. in they, they, Until they, Dawn, the original game, um, the main character, one of the main characters, his name is Josh. He, uh, he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we need her camera. Andrea <laughs> is not handling this well. That's uh, <laughs> that's the, that's the outfit that he wears to scare the other people. This this is what their house looks like. When Spoiler you alert! I, we should have. If you haven't played until dawn. I mean, that doesn't really spoil. Oh no, that's a huge spoiler. You don't find that out until like after the game. I suppose. Sorry. Oh, I mean, look, if oh, you've oh. ever watched a horror movie, you saw that coming a mile away, just yeah. to be clear. I, you know, I'm watching Eric play it the first time, and like, literally, the I might second be doing time this that dude... At some point, like, because it hurt my arms. Yeah, 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 you're fine. Um, like, the second time that dude popped up on screen, I was like, oh, that's oh, Josh. Oh, <laughs> that's totally him. Um, She's loose. Andrea, are you gonna make it? No, I hate this question. <laughs> I hate yeah. Whoever wants to know if you could wake Alex up to watch the stream. No. He was joking. I was gonna say. Don't do that. I thought we talked about this. <laughs> I leave him with you because you're responsible. <laughs> no, it's just it gets hot. The I hit it. I don't. That one doesn't roll off the board. Oh my god! That's not even. This is neat, though. This is. That's not even. No way. I mean, I bet you this in a headset. No, make this look good. In Spanish. So Rob, if you if you oh, okay. notice, this is that the chick that got pranked in the beginning. This is her bedroom. Oh yeah. Oh uh, now we're in, like that's the main part of the cabin, ain't it? Yeah. The upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, the reason I don't like this is because they all clown. I don't clown. You don't clown around? I don't know. I do not. In headshots, man. Um. I mean, look. I really truly enjoyed the movie It. The original one even the Tim Curry film. Um but I loved the new one in spite of the clown thing. I just always had clowns. Um can't do it. Hard pass. Is that a baby? Is that a baby? Is that beep? I think it was in the game. Um now I don't know how much this is helping Eric, but I know when we were getting everything set up. I noticed. Uh, I think that's an actual scene from the game. It is. Yeah, it totally is. Um, we got a, 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 a fan set up here as well over there on here. Um, largely because it actually does get pretty warm in the head after not too terribly long. Um, you're effectively wearing two TVs in your face, you know, uh, plus the, the, the rubber enclosure to dim out the rest of the light to, you know, give you full immersion. Um, so it gets pretty warm in there. But. Speaking of, Sarah, do you hear in the audio, somebody tell me if like, the fan is super loud, if not, can we turn it off? Maybe. Hmm. Um, so I was theorizing. I'm not hearing any. I'm going to turn it off for a moment. I was theorizing that the, the air from the fan might help mitigate some of the motion sickness. Because there's two major factors uh, that cause you to get motion sickness when you get stuff like that places to be on. Um, Oh yeah, well, let me rephrase it. Some common factors, I should say. Um, and one thing we're gonna notice is that most developers don't include a note in the uh, rendering. And if you've never noticed it before, uh, I'm happy to ruin this for you. 
but your nose is pretty much literally a nice section out there. Uh, pretty much literally always in the edge of your lower edge of your peripheral vision. You don't notice it because your brain typically filters it out. You don't necessarily need it for anything. But for whatever reason, in the VR, because it's not there at all, it tends to cause your dysphoria in your brain. Everyone's uh, looking at their nose now. I know. Uh, the first time I read that, I was like, oh god, it's right there. Always. It messed me up for a couple of days. Um, but it's true, because I, I played... Uh, yeah, it's definitely not. Um, I played something briefly where they did actually uh, put a nose on you. I'm not saying that was any problems with it. Oh shoot, I'm not excited for the area with the saw blades. Rob, you didn't see that. No, I didn't. I missed it. Wait. No, because, uh, well, okay, I missed this part, but there's saw blades in the later level where I did You missed the beginning ones where they're super loud? I did miss those. Um, and by the way, there is a score thing, so you get like... You get rated. It literally is like an arcade. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that game at Disney World where you're Buzz Lightyear and you have to kill them. <laughs> or the Men in Black, right? Or the Men in Black one. Also, yeah. Universal. Um, um, but the other, other very common factor in... Uh, oh, little... Uh, <laughs> What'll cause you to have motion sickness to VR is, uh, <laughs> um, is your body expects a certain amount of uh, wind resistance when you move because you experience that when you move in real life. And so to get... Um, audio, audio warnings, this might get loud. I didn't compensate for this audio, but the, okay. um, the saw blades up as might. You might on. make you deaf. Um, sorry. Sorry. Pause it for a sec. The way does the last is fogging. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it Holy gets warm in there, man. It's no joke. Um, so can we like move that? He clearly needs a blowing at him better. Yeah, maybe. What, you, what do you want to do? Or turn it up. How's the audio now? Can you hear it? Can we go up again? I mean, I can hear it in the. Let me. Yeah, because I'm. Well, while he's doing that, I'm going to finish this up. The other... Anymore, it might be too loud. I have an idea. What? Take my video. That might help. Oh, that'll do it. Um, I didn't think about it. So you, your body expects a certain amount of wind resistance, and you don't achieve that when you're in the VR and moving. And so, again, your body has this, this disconnect Sweaty. between what you're experiencing huh? uh, what? you know, in here and what you're experiencing okay. out here. Uh, and so I'm thinking that the fan will help offset the second one a little bit. And I noticed, at least for me, it did a little bit when we were doing this because uh, I played Riggs when it first came out and I couldn't handle that at all. I got so sick so fast. Um, and when we first turned this on, I, I was getting a little bit bleh. Uh, but then we turned the fan on to prep Eric's space for, for the game and um, it did it did help me out a little bit. I'm just trying to... As long as I'm getting some sort of air, sure. like whether or not it's my legs or my, it'll just cool my body. Do we have anything maybe? To, uh, no, I guess you'll just have to deal. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the yeah. the VR, for the PlayStation VR launched right, what yeah. October 2016. That is just such a fantastic question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone know the fact of that? October okay, 2016. Google. Release date PlayStation VR. How does it look on the game? Good. It looks pretty good, yeah. Cool. Um, I mean, I don't know the answer offhand because I didn't get mine for a pretty significant amount of time until after it came out. Um, I actually didn't get my PlayStation VR until the Note 7 fiasco because I got the Note 7 at launch and then they were like, yeah, you're going to have to give that back. They kind of blow up. <laughs> and I was like, all right, fine. And they're like, don't worry, we'll get you the second edition version when it comes out. Uh, so I got the, the second one okay. when it came out. And I had that for, um, right here. you know, what, like three weeks before they were just like, ah, never mind, full recall, sorry, give it back October again. October 13th, 2016. Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm not loading. Yeah, October 13th, 2016. So it's <laughs> it's been off over a year now. Um, sales? was a bit slow, I think, in the beginning. I think it was a lot of the issues was it was hard to find. All right, back in. Um, the other part was the availability of content. There was a lack of content at one, and the price point of $400 was a bit steep. 
And, well, and that's why I didn't get mine for so long. It was too expensive. And then when I finally did get it, it was because after I returned my note to seven the second time, I got a full refund for everything I put down for it. And I was like, now that I have this weird extra disposable income, I went straight down the street to buy the plan to the bill. They killed it, though, with marketing in the summer of uh, 2016. E3, they had a whole section of Sony's yeah, printer for VR. So, I mean, the marketing of it, even going into um, Sony's conference in December that year, they were still I like pushing out. I know that it's coming. <laughs> um, they, they were still pushing out. Um, <laughs> they're still pushing out content or marketing content for it. I feel in the last six months to a year, probably last six months, it slowed down immensely, almost to the point where they had to do a price drop, and it makes you wonder what the future of the support is on the PS4. Well, part of the reason they did the price drop was because they did the redesigned uh, PSVR V2 or whatever. Right, so they made it more cost effective for um, them. But at the same time, how well is it really doing? Because I mean, comparatively. You're sitting anywhere from 60 to what, 70, yeah. 70 million via or not, um, 60 to 70 million PS4s okay. out there in the wild. Mm -hmm. How many million VRs are there? I don't know that there even are a million. Oh, right. That's what I mean. Base. So, really, how well is this tech doing for consumers? Well, you know what's weird about that, I think, to me, is uh, the tech in the consumer space in general actually isn't doing all that bad, especially not now that the Oculus has come down. So it looks like my guns are... Uh, um, <laughs> I'm saying directly though, the PlayStation owners for this time. Well, no, 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 I know. That's what that, I'm Why saying that's what's like weird about it to me, there? is that huh? the Why VR like tech the in general isn't doing that bad, but the VR for the PlayStation <laughs> is really not doing well at all. Um, Oh, you know, and, and a lot of people would argue it's been years. I, several of them, even. Um, I don't know exactly uh, where the uh, balance is in terms of software, but there's a not a significant amount of VR software that. Uh, oh, they're a little. Uh, so I mean, really, that are, that are cross platform that they're on both. The, the question well, it's is, it's not a matter of oh. software support, I don't think. It's just console owners don't give a crap, is what it seems like to me. I mean, is that it? Is, is, is not enough care for this? Do people just want to play games? They don't want to strap on a headset, set up all this stuff. Uh, for one, it's not very inviting when you have a setting like this. Yeah, no. I mean, I, it's fun to watch it. Like, this is yeah. great and all, but because of what we're doing, I don't know necessarily for families or anyone to come home at one person with a headset on. And then the rest are just kind of sitting around. Yeah, and that really is the big hindrance, no matter what platform you're doing it on, whether it's PC or PlayStation or whatever, is that uh, it is very much a single person experience. You know, only one person is in the headset. Um, and so uh, a couple of weeks back, I <laughs> <laughs> We should just turn the camera on. Andrea, geez. Here's the, this the loud way light. better. I don't like. I don't um, like. So uh, I, 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 I watched him play this All the yeah, a couple weeks ago. And if any of those jump out, I'm peeing my pants, I swear to God. It was moderately interesting to watch, but I think the whole appeal for me to watch it <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh, almost the whole appeal of me watching him play this last time was the connection that was going on, which I absolutely love. Uh, again, I haven't played it. Which I'm not seeing a lot of it yet, though. I'm seeing set pieces. But what's the story? Um, I don't know at what point the end of this and start actually getting the connection to the story, but, um, it, this is the story. Well, you're trying to get it right away. You keep seeing the system. So, let me, let me, this is supposed to be a metaphor for God. No, what I'm thinking is, okay, so as we mentioned before, Josh is with the dude who's, uh, spoiler alert, okay? Oh, wait, is Uncle Mom the one I feel where like they're up in the ski Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, they have a shot again, yeah. Uh, you watched me play that. Yes, I did, okay, okay. I think most of it sounds good. All of it. Yep. I'm about 96 to talk about Okay, so it's supposed to be connected to that game. 
Yeah, that's where the dude with the, the white mask was. was. Yeah. Okay. Makes a lot of Bingo. So, if anybody's ever played Until Dawn, also, spoiler alert, what I think it is, and you'll kind of see as we progress, you've noticed Josh was in a, a chair in a doctor's office. Kind of. It kind yeah, of looks like a Dawn. doctor's office in a way. But, woo, baby. Ooh, that's um, fun. Oh, that's oh. Oh. So what I'm thinking is he's Surprise. being um, oh what oh. the hell yeah see okay. and these are the friends these recording. are the friends who were taking video uh, pranking the sister who then ultimately dies in the very beginning of the game so it's not necessarily a spoiler alert I yeah, but, would argue that's not a spoiler no that's well, that's advertised that's the trailer the yeah. so what I think this is is he is being drugged or. Um, like psychoanalyzed. Yeah, this is his and this is his kind of um, coping mechanism. <laughs> yeah. Or like his psychological way of working out what happened. Well, I mean, they or, touched or, on it's his, the game. or it's his thoughts that go through his head as he gets drunk. Well, I don't, I don't know if this was necessarily stated by the developers, but I definitely read somewhere that this was supposed to be indicative of his descent. That's that's exactly what I'm trying to say. That's what I said a minute ago. You're like, no, cool. hold on. <laughs> Yeah, shit's gonna go down. And I'm probably gonna screw my head. I'm afraid to eat chips because I'm afraid I'm gonna yeah, get Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have a freaking seizure. Lodge in your throat. Lodge in my throat. I'm gonna choke to death. I'm so I'm gonna head. interject briefly because there is stuff going on in the chat. Uh, oh. Yeah, earlier Trevor said uh, that we apparently leave the boy with them, uh, with him because uh, between the three of them, one of them might come up with the responsible option. Um, I guess I can't argue that that's true. And then he uh, pointed out that Eric was stripping, so of course we're going to get flagged now for inappropriate comments. <laughs> um, and now he's calling for somebody else to make comments, and I agree, somebody else should make comments. Uh, I like talking to Charlie, but I'm going to do that when I get home because he's hanging out at house. So, uh, I'd like to hear uh, from some other people, anyone else watching. Now would be a good time to, to, to chime in. Hi, Jen, we love you. Oh, my hey. Hey. Do you see that? Am I lagging or something? Yeah, well, maybe. These are bright, so you might not be able to see them. Oh, uh uh, no, no. Oh, oh my God. Eric. Clowny the clown face. That guy, oh, oh, God, there's oh. so many. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This whole game is trying to figure out how to properly figure out what he does. Oh, face. Ripping his face off. Oh, wait a minute. Like in Face Off. Don't oh, even face. a lot more like that old Roddy Piper movie, They Live. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you did not do so well, sir. Collectibles? No, I really don't work for them anymore. Oh, yeah. Hey, minus. Hey, minus. Hey, minus. Uh, that's not bad. You got a B plus in the last one. You know what though? I have an idea. I don't need. I don't really need this. I don't think. No, well, that's it. Please, please don't take off more clothes. So that cool hey, out a little bit. Jump on it. D -d -d all right. Wow. All right. <laughs> Instead of magic, Mike, it's magic, Eric. Now. Do, do, do. Whew. I think I need to cool down for a sec. Do you want the stool? We can set the fan up on the stool and blow it right in your face. Yes, please. He's got a camera right on. What? Oh, you're going to next, next to him? Yeah. Okay. But I'm not doing it because... Okay, I'm going to do it. I noticed that the camera is turned at a weird angle. Mm. What is it? Sarah? PlayStation camera. It's, it's, PS camera. It's right here in this corner of the kitchen. <laughs> Chad, go get the... Or someone go get the stand so we can blow it right in his face. Do you need any of this? Yeah. He's well, at least my upper body. He's yeah. not half. What? I win! <laughs> I didn't have to get back up. Hey, now. Eric, stop it, throwing my stuff on the ground, bro. It won't sit on my freaking lap. You have wrist straps, buddy. Let us support. No, man. Is my no, chip crunching still completely back. obnoxious? Do I have two balls in? What are no, you looking at? off camera. I, was, I asked Sarah a question, but she Are you staring at my... No, 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 no. Are you looking at my head? Is my here? chip crunching still Are you looking at my light? Oh, oh baby! Uh, I love that. Hot potato. potato! Trying to keep it down, Mom. Real hungry. Back it up a little bit. It's, it's level, so I can. I, he meant 
Travis, he meant the fan. <laughs> Yeah, that's all back up. Back up. You just went back up. You knew what I meant. I wasn't even over there and I feel violated. Alright. Back, back, back it up. Um, and also, where is the little cleaning cleany do? Oh, um, on the floor, in front of you. In between your legs. Oh, uh, little cleaning do. The little, the back. The little, back is glowing, little right? cleaning boy. What? <laughs> you do have the two glowing, glowing, glowing balls. Do I have to <laughs> and the, the lights on the headset are like illuminating your whole crotch area along with it. So like, well, everyone take a screen cap of what you're watching right now. Don't screen cap it. Screen cap this. Screen cap it. Another flag. Come Trevor on, flagged it again. <laughs> More like a flagpole, am I right? God, I hope not. You just like one of those little commemorative ones they give you. Yeah, the ones you can like stick on your car. Oh, oh are the two thick ones. Thank you for the spray. on your cupcake. This off for an hour. Into the heart of darkness. Anyway. So returning back to what I was asking <laughs> with horror games, so. You play the Resident Evils then. Do you. Have you? <laughs> this is one, 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 one downfall with this game is uh, having here. to. Uh, I played the beginning of Resident Evil 4, and I beat 5, and Wait, that's wh- it. Why did you scoot away from me? Because I don't want to get stabbed. That's, that's a big deal. Um, what's the big deal? He's only played 4 and what? Part of no, 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 I, 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 played, uh, I played 1 and 2, I never played 3, Ooh. never Ooh. played... Um, I think I beat Umbrella Chronicles, because it was on the Wii, and I wanted to beat it. So you're a fan of 4. But Which, not a fan of four. Okay, hold up. Uh, I really, truly enjoyed Resident Evil 5 because it was a co-op experience I could play with my wife. Here, despite take this. the fact that the game was kind of garbage. Oh, the game's great. Co-op. Yes. The co-op AI? What was that Resident so Evil game that was super bad? Oh, five. No, no, no. The one that was like... Oh, after that. Operation yeah. Raccoon City. Oh, yeah. No, that one got... That was for the... No, 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 Raccoon City was the, uh... One, the one before six, was it? I no, 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 that's not the name of the game. Um, no, Operation Raccoon City is the name of one of them. Yeah. No, 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 but I don't think that's the name of the one you're thinking of. Um, yes. You're talking about the, the squad-based shooter, right? That's yeah. six. No, no, that's no, 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 Raccoon City is a squad-based shooter. Operation Raccoon City is a third-person shooter. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it was Raccoon City. Wait, so how are you going to give me one shotgun? How are you going to give me one shotgun? Okay. Maybe it was. I don't know. I, don't know. I prefer the numbered ones. That's just me personally. Oh. Maybe a Lego flagpole. No. Oh. 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 Squad-based challenge. So I guess really, oh, this is the trail and stuff. Uh-huh. Outside, uh, uh-huh. So what is your, I guess, disinterest? <laughs> or, oh god. That's fine. Or your opposition to uh, to uh, umbrella court. Okay. Umbrella court. Sorry, that's that was the name. Of the game. Umbrella court. Uh, yeah. Four. Four. Um. Four. That was the trash one. Eric is the point. Um. Oh. You're the trash one. Purple. <laughs> that's true. That's why this is my last episode. Look at that. Um, that does look good. Um. It's it, it's not that I have an opposition to it. Oh. Um, oh. I really. Ah! I really dig the mythos behind the Resident Evil game. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a real big fan of the overarching story of everything that's going on in the world. Um, so we're not tentatively ridiculous. But, for the most part, I really dig the, the story of the franchise. Um, but, like, 4... 4 messed me up because... It's so good, you can never go back to anything. <laughs> no, the pseudo, the pseudo zombies were a pain in the ass. Well, the um, game is incredibly difficult. Yeah, and 
so I got, I want to say probably actually about halfway through it. I feel like I got about halfway through four. Welcome uh, to the game. Rush. <laughs> Didn't we already have the intro thing twice then? No, this is the tutorial level. This was the tutorial? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what the? <laughs> There, no, We're on, like, oh, level did you three just, at this on. point. Did you what? notice that? No, what? Um, in the rush of blood sign, yeah. the U and the G were, were lit up for uh, until gone. Uh, oh, there uh, I don't think we're uh, Looks like you guys will have to go back on the pod and watch it again. Oh! Or they can just scrub back. Yeah, it is crazy. Don't shut up. I don't shut up. It's actually no, one of the up. things that really irks me about yeah. Twitch. You like, I was watching, ah. Yeah, I was watching AGDQ. And uh, I missed something, or like I saw something, and I'm like, "There's no way I saw that right." And I think you rewind it really quick. You can pause it, but if you unpause it, it doesn't pick up where you paused. Uh, it just jumps jump right back to live. live, and you can't scrub back at all. So I was like, "Well, I guess I'm just waiting for that one to go up on YouTube." See all this like red stuff on these? That's where like the people who've ridden this right ported their faces. <laughs> Blood, dare. Um, Blood. <laughs> yeah, no, so like I, I dig them. Like I like, Ooh, I like so them. Um, so watching Eric play the original Until Dawn was amazing. I, I watched him play the entire game. Which I think Start we should still do a full stream of it. I agree so completely. I agree. Extend the stream. It'd be, a, it'd be a seven hour stream, but yeah. it'd be completely worth it. And then when we upload it hey, to so, YouTube, we can play Oh, yeah! <laughs> I forgot about <laughs> I forgot about that. I was going to go shoot that seagull. She's <laughs> vomiting all over her breasts. Um, it's a very Ooh. different screen if you do that. Um, <laughs> so, before I, before I uh, get too far... Why are you... Why are you studying this, lady? Oh, these guys. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, oh, before I'm going to face it, shrug that off. So, I guess... To my question is, we're planning this October a horror month. Yeah. Every night of the That's week. That's kind of what I was getting to. You should. I was gonna say people should comment or uh, comment on our Facebook and let us know what game you want us to play, or if you would actually enjoy seeing. Oh, like, I am not participating. A full live stream of. No, no, no. Oh, you can you can play, play Costume Quest. Like, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Costume Quest would be a good one for you. Yeah, I can do that. Because there's two of them, so you'll be able to play both of them throughout the month. Yeah. So you get the kitty corner, and then we'll play the scary Yeah, shit. I'm not playing the real I want to be very clear with the two of you. I will not be playing Outlast or Amnesia. Oh, I was going to say, I, I was wanting to call Outlast. I'll play Amnesia. Act like those are the only games available. Robbie, put it in Dead Space. There you go. Dead Space. I have all on PC now. I so started it. The first thing that grabs the leg at the very beginning when you think it's dead up. Nope. Shut it off. I'm done. Yeah, I'd like to do the Outlast series as well as the uh, Evil Within series. Mm -hmm. The two I want to do in yeah. October. <laughs> and that should take a step away. Ah! <laughs> Did you just go away to shoot that pig? Yeah, it was going to swing back and hit me in the face. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Uh, silent, huh? Ooh, I've, I've actually never fully played a Silent Hill game. I've never played a Silent Hill game at all. So that might be that interesting. Say there's plenty of them, you guys could both tackle them. But that's months and months away. We're going to need your guys' suggestions and feedback on what you'd like to see between now and October. <laughs> you know, if I watch Eric play the original Until Dawn, I'll be beginning to end twice. Yeah, I really want to see if people would be interested in watching that. I think you get a shit do that one. It's really good, like the story that you do. I kinda wanna make you do it with our own game with having to be our own game. It's a actual play game. Uh, it's good. That game is gonna suck. That game is... I played it, play it many times not VR, and I'm still like... Ugh. <laughs> That's what not game? a good reaction. Resident Evil 7. Not like, ugh, like bad, bad, but like, it's You remember still watching in the beginning, some... it's the hand cut off, and oh, the yeah. house. Some parts creep me out. Yeah, that game oh, is, yeah. that game Rob, is dark. Do you remember when the demo came out on VR? Yeah. And I played that, and you guys fucked with me the entire time? <laughs> the whole time. Literally the whole time. He had, I, I have uh, one of those nice high end turtle beaches that are like 5.1 channel surround sound, noise canceling, you know? And he was wearing those, and the VR headset. 
and oh, playing oh. the Resident Evil 7 demo. And uh, he, he came over to my house while I was still at work and sat down and he had just started it like right before I walked in the door. And so when I came in, he didn't even know I was there because he was so immersed in what was going on. And I just kind of walked up behind him and I was like, whoop. And he was like, whoop. <laughs> 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 like, I swear to God, I thought he was be himself. Doors! Oh, it was great. But, and uh, open! That's another one. I watched Eric play all of Resident Evil 7. He came over and played it at my house. Excuse me, start to finish. Yeah. Almost twice back to back, because you remember you finished it the first time, and you were like, I bet I could beat this in four hours, and started it all over again right then and there. I didn't do it that time. I went home and did it on my own. There's a game I want to pick up on the PlayStation Store. It's uh, like 15 or $20. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fairly short game. It's about three, four hours long. It's Is called there? Among the Sleep. Yeah. How's the collecting? Have you heard of that one? Well, who's touching my leg? It's okay. the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Although, Don't be afraid of the pussy. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to watch that back to make sure. It was the cat. You can't We're see down there, man. Um, Don't you dare. I'm definitely not right behind you. Have you seen or heard of Among the Sleep? Um, I think so. I feel like I saw... It's the one where you play as the toddler? Uh, oh, no, no, I saw a, a promo photo for it, but I never actually watched the trailer. Yeah, I watched a guy play hey, through all of it. Why are you raving? They're getting closer. I think it's like... Oh, there they are. I think it's like... Weeping Angel. Yeah. Kind of. The Weeping Angels and Isn't that the only one you like close your eyes? Yeah. So, or, 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 or if we don't like him. Oh, it's like Boo from him. Mario. I guess to yeah. finalize yeah. my question <laughs> for exactly you. exactly like Boo from Shoot, Mario. With, yeah. with horror games, is it the immersion that yes. you're just not a fan of? Oh, okay. horror games. That's what I'm saying. Uh, first of all, if you notice the wall is moving again. Yep. That was some classic horror right there. Um, no, it's literally just the being in control of the tension. It's not even so much the immersion necessarily, it's just, uh, of all the things you get accused of the first Bioshock game of being immersive is not necessarily one of them. But um, I mean, you're in control, so in that sense you're immersed and you feel for the character, because your character and I watching just a screen out of control, it's, the scene's just playing out no matter what that happens, happens. Well. Because I know from my It's not my attachment to the character, like dying. Not necessarily the attachment, but you. I don't know how else to describe it other than I'm I died like five times. For, for myself, <sighs> to relate to it, I love horror as a genre. It's easily my favorite genre of film. But I don't get scared in movies. I don't jump hardly ever. Uh, Nothing scares me. I laugh that at most. Yeah, I'm still. I sometimes jump. But I can tell that my tension is on when I'm playing survival games. I can only play for so long before I'm like, I'm having an anxiety. Yeah. And it's I, absolutely that. And I only get that with games. And I don't know if it's me just playing with the control of the character. And what I do decides the outcome, or the film, it's going to play, you know, like I said. I think, I, I think for me, a library is somewhere in the middle of the um, Because it's not necessarily so much the control. Um, as much as, say, in a movie, you have that jump scare, and it's over, and you can move on. Right. Whereas, in a game, it's constant. Yeah, but it's also relivable. Yeah. If I'm in the theater, watching a movie, and there's a jump scare, I can just go, ugh, and then move on to the next scene. I don't have to worry about that thing happening to me. And then, you know, of course, it's going to happen again. If a movie sees one jump scare, it's going to have more. But, uh, you know, there, there's certain, uh, I guess, waves of, uh, like, patterns, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to have three jump scares back to back, unless it's very obvious that you're about to have three jump scares back to back. Like, in a movie, you can build that tension, but as a viewer, you also have to learn that tension until you get to the point you're moving away. Right. Whereas games, you kind of try to pull the rudder at the point offer you a different experience than the first in the movie. Right. And so you can definitely have a different experience right after back in that game when you wouldn't necessarily expect it. And I think that's what I do. 
You missed that one. Those are your favorite, Andrea. Little oh, crap walk. Yeah. <laughs> Did you die? She wanted to make out. No, it's the end of the uh, level. I have um, a girlfriend. Thank you very much. Are you still watching? <laughs> Ooh, he's trying to get up in his biz, man. I can't. Ooh, he's trapped in this chair. Wait, what? In the in between. In the game, hey, you got a trophy. It did. You see, trophy. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Phew. And but so it's really gonna, just the anxiety of knowing not only that whatever is about to happen is my fault, but yeah, also yeah. that if I screw right. up bad enough, I got to do it again. It's right next to you. What, what is right next to you? His drink, I think. Oh. What does he want? This. My mm -hmm. sodi. The the do. Do the do. My sodi pops. How's? Can you hear the fan, sir? Is it like too bad? Oh. Yeah, I can hear the pain. Is it bad? It's not bad, but it's it's definitely there. Sound balance is pretty good though, everything is Yeah, good. like you can hear the game fine, you can hear him fine. You can hear you guys fine, it's it's perfect. I was kind of expecting her to be like, I can't hear you guys at all, it's sort of the way I want it. All I can hear is Andre eating chips. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I'm done now. Where'd you get those chips, Ace Hardware? <laughs> hey, Dick. Try this. It's really good. Does Eric's going to try to say I stole that no. joke from him. Don't let him lie to you. That is me. Uh, well, first of all, I stole it from him, but your mother's. Yeah. Second of all, you did steal it. It's pretty good. I mean, I stole it from Marshall. No, I stole it from Marshall. You stole it from me. I stole it from Marshall, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to come over there and slap you, and you're not going to see it coming. I'm going to whack you <laughs> on two colored <laughs> walls. Especially you know what? I, I think you guys need to man. settle this next week at the SNES Royal Rumble. <laughs> Wow. Cheap plug for next week's yeah. Yeah. possible game? Uh, Maybe. I was about to say I was going to lay some sweet chin music on him, but then I'm I'm pretty sure that in the SNES Royal Rumble game, Shawn Michaels' finisher was the stupid back suplex. Oh, yeah. Which is just wow. But at least he's stupid. in the game. So That's true, true, but, I mean, so is a lot of people. <laughs> I suddenly can't think of. I mean, Undertaker's in there. Mr. Perfect's in there. Really, if you're not playing Mr. Perfect, I don't know what you're doing. Let's just be clear. Okay. If you guys can't settle at the Royal Rumble, settle it at the Techno Super Bowl. Hard pass. That one's on you, buddy. Not a fan? Yeah, that mask is super creepy. I don't yeah, it, sports in real life. I don't sports in real life either. I'm but you want to play some NBA Jam Tournament Edition. You know what launched today? Don't mess with me at NBA Blitz, the Mutant bro. Football League game. And then NFL Blitz? What did I say? NBA Hang Time. Did I say NBA Blitz? You sure did. Oh, sorry. I don't, I don't know. Football! <laughs> yeah, Mutant, Mutant League Football. Did it? Yeah, uh, Andy Project came out today. Nice. I haven't heard any reviews of the cost of it, but I heard it was out. So if you're a fan of that back in the Sega and Super, this one looks Pretty good as far as the visuals. I really wish I could see the uh, cartoon again. It's probably on YouTube. Hey. Uh, I can't remember what it was actually called, but it was based on Mutant League. And like in each episode, they would play a different sport. Like one episode would be football, one would be basketball, one would be baseball. I like sports, I don't care who knows. Have you ever heard that song from Nolan? Yeah. Come on, go. You kind of ruined the horror aspect here when you rave like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not for Andrew. I could be raving if this something popped up. Yeah, yeah. That's true. She's totally not sleeping anymore. Um, if I slept after it, I can sleep after this. Is um, are we are we getting good speaking of the Undertaker? Uh, we're at eight we're and nine at right now. Ooh, hi guys. Hi everybody. Oh, hi Mark. <laughs> See, now it's a picture people are you just, definitely can't say you People are just quiet out there. there. Chat with us. What's going on out there? You guys enjoy They're just so completely involved by what we were saying that they can't. We're trying to figure out what that man with the glowy glasses is doing. The fun thing is, Rob, is like seriously the next morning, like everyone said it like five times. <laughs> So what? Uh, reference here, the, the oh, high mark thing. Um, is it fun? It's from the room. He's kidding with you. 
Oh, do you, are you? I am. Am I kidding? Who's kidding what? I, I think he was implying that you were messing with me, saying you didn't know what that was from. I really don't. Okay, no, it's from a movie called The Room. Have I seen it? Uh, you would know, I feel. Yeah. Um, but comically, and I, I just had this conversation with Sarah the other day, hilariously, I feel. Um, the Room was a uh, film made by Tony uh, Wise many years ago, and it is pretty much rated as possibly one of the best movies. That's the movie that the disaster artist was made about. Right? Disaster artist yeah. is. The, uh, Remember when, were you watching when Dick Sprinkle pulled that guy up on stage during his speech? Yeah. That's Tommy Wiseau. Yeah, Tommy Wiseau. Okay. And James Franco won an award I for playing him in a mockumentary. I legitimately thought Travis didn't know what that was from. Yeah. No, I didn't. I'm yeah. sorry. The, the Room is sorry. like seriously panned. It's one of the worst rated movies ever. And, uh, and so like it's super bad apparently. But then James Franco makes this movie that is effectively a mockumentary. Uh, oh, okay. And wins the award for playing the guy who made the room. But that's one of the majorly iconic lines from the movie is he comes storming out onto a rooftop talking to himself. And he's like, this is bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. I've seen that gift. Yeah, and maybe so, I've seen clips then. I, you know, I don't know. But I guess so it just the, didn't stick with me. For whatever reason, it became the thing to say when somebody would... Uh, log on online in a group chat uh, on PSN when we would be playing like GTA or something. I've always been confused. I think he's used that multiple times. I'm like, what? I don't get it. Yeah, well, he does. He uses it a lot, and that's the thing. So, like, we'll get online and, and like I'll join the chat and I'll be in the middle of saying something. Like, blah blah blah. Oh, hi, Mark. And so, like, uh, my old friend David again was saying something to Sarah about having said that, or like people saying that in general, and she's like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> he got all indignant. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's like, there's no way you haven't heard it. And then like all of us were like, I, you've been in the group when it's been said. Like, I find it real. I'm like, but then of course the argument became, uh, just because she was present doesn't necessarily mean she was listening. Because who wants to listen to us nerds babble, right? I'm with her. Nine viewers? That's hurtful. Oh, we're back to the back. Five viewers? That's about right. right. You're really, you're really <laughs> bad. Yeah. That story about the room really made people angry. They must have loved that phone. You're tearing me apart, Lisa! What's called? Wait, what's that from? Yeah, see, it was just called me. Oh. Yeah, man. Okay. I win! He's a good character. I like it. You're from. July 94 to February 94. Okay. So, so two whole seasons. As far as horror as a genre, obviously that's a big topic you see in this game. What horror movie and or horror game has messed you up and stuck with you as a memory all oh, these years? Stuck with me? Yeah, like one you'll always remember or one that messed you up. Yeah. You got fired. fired up. I got fired. Ah. Um, let's see, what movie screwed me up? The Baba Duke fucked me up for days. For a couple days. Why, well, because the kid was so damn annoying? Because that fucking. Baba. Yeah, I, that, I had a problem with that too. Like, the movie itself wasn't as scary as I was loving the video movie. The audio is just. But the voice and the. that, I did right. not like. I was really mad about that movie because everyone was like, oh, you gotta watch it. I watched it and I was like, yeah. Have you ever seen It Follows? Yes. I think I've sold it for a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of weeks. Hard That's how dumb guys are. I might be able to die, but I can't go more than two weeks without some sweet, sweet loving. Nobody ever says Yeah, unless just, you're ordering barbecue sauce. Don't let them lie to you. I, 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 I think I just said it. First of all, that means barbecue sauce is unlicensed. Yeah, you've never said that to me. No, you said let's just get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet napping. I think this is one of the scenes I can. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, honestly, I'm trying to think about it. I don't think I really have an answer for you. No uh, movie or game? Or both? Not really. I mean, Dead Space... Dead Space hurt me on the inside a little bit at first. Um, but I don't necessarily mean that metaphorically. I mean, like, I had to change. Anxiety is a disorder. Um, no, but that, that space was uh, was really, really rough the first time I played it in the dark. Uh, should I go right but, or switch it? Uh, what the hell was that? I don't know, man. What the hell? You know what that is. Go uh, left, go left, switch it, switch it. I went left the last time I played. I'm going to switch it this time, actually. Um, I think the Silent Hill 2 was probably one of the best movies. The movie was the entirety of the Saw franchise. No, Every, those were awesome. Yeah, yeah those but were good. The, all the torture things, but I still have nightmares about some Actually, the, machines the one the thing from that series that fucked me up hardcore was the, uh... Brain surgery? The, no, that actually didn't do very much at all. It was the, uh, the Achilles tendon. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. That fucks me up every time. Every time I see that in any movie, horror or not. The guy well, that gets pushed to the wall... Like, the, he finally catches the, the actual bad guy that's been doing it. He thinks he's in a trap, but the guy saves himself and the walls collapse on him. Mm -hmm. In like four or five. And like, his elbows break out the back of his arms as the wall is pushing him. I oh, had nightmares okay. about that for a few days. Gross. Yeah. See, I've not really seen a lot of the Saw movies because the, the prospect just didn't appeal to that. The one with uh -huh. Wahlberg at the end, where the two ice things come down and snatch his body. No, I saw the ice. Eric is like, I'm gonna do some Saw movies, and I'm like, I've never seen any of the other ones. He's like, yeah, that'd be alright. Just, just come. Come on. It's free. I'll take you. And I'm like, alright, whatever. And Eric, do you remember which one it was? Was it three or four? The one with the, the, the lady in the freezer, she gets frozen. And it's uh, the, the dad is the guy from Braveheart. No, oh, Robert and Bruce. <laughs> Is he the, is that the one with the, the like healthcare he, executives? Yeah, like his wife is the nurse that's kidnapped that winds up dying at the end. Oh. And, and like he has. Oh, you mean that's, that's three. That's the one where uh, at the end he has that ring around his neck. Yeah. With the shotgun shells on it. Yeah. Just yeah. fucking fuck. Oh. Okay. The one with the so healthcare weird. doctor where like he has to go through with all of his employees and like he. He That's has to five. breathe better than the janitor. Yeah, no, 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 not that one. He has no, to no, choose no. which one of his underlings to kill or save. That one's fucked up. No, three was the one where the dude was like all fucked up over the death of his kid and all of his puzzles were involved, like destroying the kid's favorite teddy bear finally. So like he could move on or whatever. Oh, because the, the drunk driver killed Is yeah. that what it was? Yeah, yeah. 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 that was a I thought three was the one that was like hot. It was really, really and like killed with the rapist with, with the thing in the machine that has to cut his own arms off. I thought that was the rapist. I don't know what that one is, but whichever one Eric took me to see it, it's the only one I've ever seen. And I had no context going in. So like, what the, what, what, there's the, the female cop <laughs> early in the movie and she gets put in the, the chest pumper machine and she's got to dig oh, the key out with the acid. That was like four. Um, the, key, the key with the acid and the chest pumper are two different movies. Yeah. The key with the acid is the second one where they're in the house with all the people. Oh, God, here's the part I died And the chest of her is a fourth person. No, well, the, the, point, the, the point is, it turns out that, like, no matter what she did, she wasn't getting out of the trap. Right, which was right. the turning point which in the series. Which was the turning point in the series. Because it was the girl and not mm -hmm. Jigsaw. Yeah. Have you, Eric, have you seen Jigsaw? Not Jigsaw, no. Great, now I'm not going to be able to see you were talking about it. For me, the. I don't know, it's hard if to we're say. We're going to talk moments, but I, I didn't get to say this a minute ago. We're going to talk moments and stuff in the movie. It's any freaking movie where somebody's fingernails get ripped off. Oh, yeah, it's pretty much. Uh, in the Texas, it up. Like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. In the remake, like, yeah. he's got the dude over his shoulder and he's dragging him down the hall. And, and they focus in on his hand and it's like, and the fingernail just breaks off. And I was just like, like I went to see that in the theater. Don't watch and it was that movie, or that moment in the movie where it's just like, oh. Why do I come to this? The rest of the movie was actually fine, like it didn't bother me at all. 
But that, any movie, any scenario, oh. always messes oh, me up. I can't. No. Amanda told me about this movie where I think it's George Clooney. He takes a guy's hand to a steering wheel and he uses a cigarette lighter to throw in his finger every time he won't tell him something. So like he's got his hand and takes the steering wheel and he just pops the lighter in and asks the question before it pops out. And if he won't answer the question by the end of it, he just turns off the end of his finger. You know what really screwed me up the first time I saw it was the taken? Where he catches the first guy and he's got him hooked up to the electrical grid in the one building in the chair. He sticks the two electrical things through his leg, turns on, and gets like the torture in. And then at the end he walks out of the room and just leaves it on. It's that fucked up. I did not like that at all. I mean, I get why he did it, but it still like screwed the shit out of it. The only theory, when she woke up, she immediately realized blah 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 blah. When the tape ended and the TV turned off, Carrie further panicked and tried to get the acid out of the beaker. I skipped the part of the paragraph, but she had to get the key out of the acid beaker. Oh, I'm thinking of the house with the chick at the middle. Yeah, that's part. That's two. Moments yeah. later, her timer went off on the trap. Carrie was doing the part. Aha! You're thinking about two. Look, you. Look, you. Oh, nice. Uh, Wait, have, have you heard of one of that movie, Fire in the Sky? In the what? Fire in the Sky. Fire in the Sky? No, it's an early 90s movie. Alien abduction based on true story. Nope. The lead character that got abducted was named Travis. And they actually show like scenes of him uh, up in the spacecraft and then, like, drilling a thing into his eye. Oh god, why? Like, yeah, it's pretty No, I can't like... do those either. Like, fingernails and eyeballs, those are my two. Uh, fingernails way more than eyeballs for some reason, but like... Eyeballs, ugh. I just... Nah. Peeled grapes. So, uh... Who is it, Steve-O put those little leech things on his eyeballs? Remember I don't that? watch Jackass. Really? And. I, I feel like your answer is right there while you're at it. Um, I love Jackass. No, hard pass. Oh. <laughs> Ooh! And that whole top shelf on the right is all those stupid idiots <laughs> who made millions off oh, being stupid you idiots. Said on the right. For, for whatever reason, you said that whole top shelf, and my brain just ignored the on the right, and I'm like, no, they I... weren't in Lost. <laughs> 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 Would have been a very different show. Yeah. Wild Boys. Try to play time. Well, speaking of, Woo. A nice tasty nuts. <clears throat> so everything looks good on there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, by the way, guys, this is our first VR stream, so ever you're witnessing his story. His story. That was a Michael Jackson album. That's true. All right. But no, man, I grew up, uh, I grew up on horror movies, so, like, I literally can't remember a time when they... What's your favorite horror movie? Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Three. (laughs) Very specific. (laughs) Wait a minute. Which, is that the one? That one, Dream Warriors. That's my favorite. (laughs) When he's in the backseat, the map says we're fucked after he's, like, unfolded it 300 times. (laughs) That's, like, my favorite part. When I was an adolescent boy, my favorite part was the, the naughty nurse, but, you know, whatever. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a given. No, but, um... Especially when uh, the nurse turns into Freddy, right? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, the best part of any. What was yours? What's your favorite? Oh, he didn't say. I, no, he knew. He's told me multiple times before, right? Oh, right. Do I have a solid favorite, though? Yeah, yeah. Horror yeah. movie? Yeah. Your favorite horror horror movie? I think Friday the 13th. That's a good call. I, mean, I, I, I really do think the first one is probably your favorite. I mean, Either that or the first of like all of them. Halloween. Halloween probably. I mean, the, the correct answer really should be Leprechaun 3. Leprechaun. Um, no, no. Sorry. Critters 3. Because you're not a oh, critters. okay. No, if we're going to talk Critters, man, what was it? Was it the second one where the guy had okay. the, the no face? No other part of Critters matters except for Critters 3. I was it's Leonardo DiCaprio's street. first. Movie, okay. Do you understand okay. what I'm saying okay. to you? Except for no face. Can I tell you my favorite horror movies? No. Like, no, you're playing the game. Shh. What do you got? Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. 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 Nightmare on Elm Street.
Um, I have a favorite horror movie that that, that, that's for horror, and then I have my favorite movie to watch it. Oh, no. 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 Not my favorite. All right. Go ahead, Eric. That is the boss. It's it's a huge part. Um, My favorite horror, my favorite movie to watch during Halloween is two. One is Trick or Treat. Good movie. Good movie. The other one's not Yeah, that is actually not a bad screen. No, the, the next one is Idle Hands. <laughs> okay, I'll accept that, that answer. That does too. not come as a screen. It's a thriller. Yeah, it's, it's a, a Halloween movie. Halloween watched during Halloween. Oh. That's, that's a completely cool one for me. I might remember what this was. Yeah, but then you had that debate. Like, Halloween or no, there is no debate. Halloween. That's everyone there's always Christmas debate. is wrong. There's always debate. It's not yeah. scary. No. Although we I'm had a, we had a poll. It's a Halloween movie. We posted it as a poll in the last Halloween. Oh, what is that poll end? I don't remember. It ended with us being right, oh. as always. Thank you. There were a lot of people that said it was Christmas. That's because there were a lot of, a lot of long people, people in the world. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you just alienated half of our audience. <laughs> and the you know what? I don't want to watch Wow, it did. It went down to four. <laughs> I don't want to watch movies, by, or I don't want to. I don't want to have viewers who are stupid enough to think that's just this movie. I said it. I said it all out right. loud. The views yeah, expressed by I'm members right. of this oh. yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Um And for anyone who can't tell, so what's, what's your? Oh, oh. oh I get it. I got the That's blue on me. Should go to the doctor if it's that color. <laughs> you should probably be in the morgue if it's that color. Yeah. Um, so what's your favorite horror horror movie? Oh, right? yeah. What's your yeah. horror horror movie? Yeah, like for scaries. For scaries. Oh my god, that's so hard because there's so many good ones. Yeah. 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 I'm arachnophobic, so I hate oh, horror horror oh, horror. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're saying yours is eight legged three? No, no, arachnophobia. <laughs> Thank you. Jeff Daniels is a dollar on arachnophobia. I actually do like that movie, but it is movie, like 99% of the I reason I'm arachnophobia. I have to watch it like this. Like, yeah. oh, I can see, I can see Jeff Daniels, but I can't see the gigantic spider attack in the movie. John Cowboy's just lately. Oh, I just like part of that. It, it, where the exterminator just walks up and just tries to explain it. Uh, like, oh, nobody sprays oh, the it. Oh, he says he's got a specimen, and he just like in a flat spider. I like when he sprays it and it doesn't die, so then you just keep spraying it until yeah. it's like... <laughs> or the old people in the popcorn, Actually, that part always creep me out. I'll tell and you. the spider in the shower. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, after the, the first time I saw that movie, I every time I showered, I got this super easy movie. Because I was like, murderous creep She just doesn't shower anymore. Anyway. Is that right? I don't think I have a bigger horror movie. Just kind of See, the, the, the shower thing didn't bother me in real life. It's years later, you know, I, I used to have like a glass of water on my next stand at night. And I woke up to take a drink one night. Uh oh. Where the house down in the I started to take a step, and all of a sudden I'm like, what is looking back at you the top of my water? Nope, you gotta burn the house down. I'm so, and I almost died and Rob was asleep the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the noise there for you. I'm gonna tell you two things now. The scene in Arachnophobia that jumping back earlier in the conversation, uh, a scene from a horror movie that always stuck with me. A scene in Arachnophobia that stuck with me for a long, long time is the moment, it's relatively early in the movie, where uh, the lady is like fumbling around in the lamp they turn the lamp off yeah. and you just see the spider lowering down and that me up so bad because it's, it's such a simple you moment you yeah. could, that could happen to anybody it's just like the popcorn bowl it's in the popcorn bowl you're sitting there eating popcorn next thing you know it's crawling out your nostrils because you died like oh yeah no. yeah i'm not a fan so that messed me up for a long time um oh my favorite i Sorry, sorry. I was thinking of like, you know, like, Oh, no, I remember the other thing. Many, many years ago, uh, and this this happened to me this one time, and I've literally never done anything like this ever again. And I will not do it. Uh, I used to sleep with a beverage next to the bed as well. But I, all I ever drank for a long, long time was Mountain Dew out of can. And so I saw you work that night. Like, Captain doesn't mess with me. So when you when you've had it so so much, I get barely wasted. But the point is, 
So I had an open can of Mountain Dew on my nightstand in the bed, and I woke up in the middle of the night with a crazy craving, a uh, deep thirst, if you will. Deep you know, thirst? A oh, oh, big old drink of that Mountain Dew. And then my mouth felt weird. Wow. And then my mouth started wiggling. And then oh. I spit out a mouthful of Mountain Dew. And so I had something kind of like that. And that was the last time I ever kept with an open beverage next to my bed. If I want a glass of water to go to bed with, you got to believe it's in a bottle of water with the lid on it. Oh, see, ours has to be because we have an asshole pack and we knock it off the well, table. Well, also that, yes. But I mean, uh, our cat's not allowed in the bedroom when we're not free. So, I, I can't, like, it allergies, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, like, like, that was a one and done that happened to yeah. me one time. And I was like, well, that's never happening to me ever again for the rest of my life. Then. Yeah. Oh, God, I don't know. Yeah, that okay, was right. Right. Yeah. Story. So quick story time for me yeah. really fast. But yeah. <clears throat> story time. School. <laughs> um, so I, this past October, Amanda got me the, she got me a box of Count Chocolate because the store reluctantly, reluctantly didn't have any of the other like blueberry or whatever, right? I don't think that's the right word, but carry on. It's not, but I'm trying to... Uh, yeah, you, you, you're focusing. Um, they didn't have um, blueberry or... Uh, Frankenberry. So, she got me that. I ate that the box, blueberry. cool story, and then... Um, she left that Sunday, and the next day... The next day, this was during the time when uh, the freaking uh, uh, stink bugs were everywhere. Oh, yeah. So I was eating the cereal, and I ate it. I like chewed it, like I, like I could feel, like I went to put the spoonful in my mouth, and then I, I like, you know how you can taste a smell? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. yeah. That was gross. All of these stories, ladies and gentlemen, just prove that the most horror, uh, most horrific horror stories really are just real life. Yeah. Okay, so two things that completely change how I do this in my life okay. from movies slash TV shows. First of all, now, we're really on the camera. Are you pretty good? There's an episode of Are You Pretty Good? I think it's called The Night Shift. And it is about a hospital where a uh, vampire is killing But instead of fighting the movie, like where the traditional vampire fights you, like women in the neck, it fights you up behind the ear. So okay. I, I, all I remember is that it had two, you know, two longer teeth. I think it was like, supposed to be like the Nazi-Nazi style vampire. And it fit you up behind the ear. So I have slept since then with a blanket up covering my ear because it terrified me so much. And then I watched a movie called The Juror. My I thought mother, you were going to say The Jerk. <laughs> no. I was like, that's not it. My mom told me that I shouldn't watch it, and I watched it anyway. And in it, spoiler alert, this movie is like 25,000 years older, so if you haven't seen it, it's your fault. He killed her friend by the... First of all, they keep up with her because of boyfriend, and then one night they're having sex and she's going to take a pill that kills her, like a side of her. And I tried to fall asleep with my mouth closed in the ear because I was worried someone was going to sneak into my bedroom and she's going to take a cyanide pill. It, I don't know why. It's completely irrational. And I also watched her at the park and the scene where the doctor's arm comes down behind her. I was afraid that was going to happen to me in the shower. I was going to turn around and fall asleep with her. I'm just, I'm a wolf. I can't watch scary movies. I'm dressed up, I'm not scary, but I thought my mom was going to turn into a blosser after an eat for like three weeks. I'm going to turn into a baby. That's how I'm My wife just informed me that she's never seen any of the Nightmare on Elm Street or all the movies. I wouldn't see them in when I met him, okay, when I, I met him, I had to see Star Wars. Not of them. No, just Star Wars. Yeah, yeah that's all Star Wars. Yeah, that's it was on the field right Here's the thing. I grew up on classic films like Terminator 
Dennis Rodman is in the movie. Double, double team. Double, thank John you. Thank you. That could not be any less than a mission, man. They were terrible. So racist. What's a racist? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, so I can't think of my favorite horror movie, so I can tell you my favorite bad horror movie. Like one that's awful, but I love it. Okay. Dead Alive. Have you seen it? Which one? There's first more than one. one. The first one. No, 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 like there's more than one movie that's just called Dead Alive. Uh, so which one are you talking about? I, what's the premise of it? Yeah. Zombies. And this guy, at the so end, this guy takes a, movie. he kills all the zombies with a lawnmower and his mom's like this big vagina monster. Oh, what? Did you think a vagina monster? I did. Okay. Dead Alive 92, is it the one where she's got like this on the cover? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And... My favorite part in the entire movie is like the, he's walking through a, uh, a cemetery, and this preacher, this like preacher, comes over like this wall, and he goes, I can't remember the beginning of the voices, but he goes, it's time for some divine intervention. And he jumps down, and, like shoots a couple zombies, and then he goes, I kick ass for the Lord, and he just does all this karate <laughs> and kills all the zombies. <laughs> That's really the, the plot for this. A young man's mother is bitten by a Sumatran rat monkey. She oh, gets yeah. sick and dies, at which time she comes back to life, killing and eating dogs, nurses, friends, and neighbors. That's, <laughs> that's the plot. That's a good synopsis. Lionel, a mama's boy, has an unwanted honor of having to look after his overbearingly evil mother. That's another one. I mean, if we're talking about Ooh. bad no. horror movies, Evil Dead. Love Evil Dead. But it's an amazing bad horror movie. Yeah. It was not my intention like, the new one wasn't, wasn't like, bad that's like really that, but it was still good. I actually liked the, that's literally the, the first one. quote on here. A kick-ass for the Lord. The new one was great. Stand back, boy, this calls for divine intervention. Yeah. Yeah. Stand stand back, that's what it is. Stand, stand back, boy, this calls for some divine intervention. Paquita Maria Sanchez. Your mother ate my dog. Not all of it. I want to see this movie. It's so good. Horror movies that are bad. Please say you're going to say the one that I'm thinking of. I don't know, but I'm Thanks just Killing. Oh, thanks, Killing. Best yeah. bad horror movie ever. It's about the first Thanksgiving turkey. And he's yeah. murderous turkey. And it's like the best. It's a plastic bubble. So, so good. What? Oh, it's a total. Movie. What is that movie where it's just a tire? Tire? Is that, it's just called Tire? Yeah. Do you know what we're talking about? Look that up. And while you're, uh, uh, you're in for a treat, uh, while you're yeah. looking that up. It's not on here. It's just called Tire. I just Google movie where Tyre is the villain. Uh, horror movie where Tyre is the villain. Or a Tyre horror movie. Yeah, I, it's the dumbest premise I've ever heard for anything in my whole life. And I watched the whole movie because you, I think I was on a You thought that the there was a day in the Santa Bullock. Oh, oh it's called Rubber. Oh. Yeah. Wait. From 2010? Yeah. Yeah. A homicidal car tire, discovering it has destructive psionic power, sets its sights on a desert town once a mysterious woman becomes its obsession. Yep. <laughs> Was it like amazing bad or just bad bad? Uh, there are a few things in my life that have ever made me wish I could have that time back. And that is on the list. So what it is just when did that movie terrible. Come out? 2010. So it was a good year? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Zing. Anyone? <laughs> I feel like I should hate you for that. I'm Firestone. Oh god, the kid was right. The killer is a tire. That's a quote. A direct quote. Oh. Yep. Mm. Right. Those are some nice pants you got there. You are nothing but rubber shit. Oh, I should oh. Oh. So, a little bit more on the story here. Um, Spoiler, spoiler alert ahead. Are we down in the caves in the mines or whatever? Yeah, these are the ones you go. Um, if you've played uh, Kill Dawn, you can go to the mines or if you've actually watched the Grand Show in the first season. 
Is it not the first episode? I can't. No, not the first episode. It's not the first episode. Kevin Trevor, but what episode? The Wendy Girl. Um, but yeah, in, in the in the game, the uh, the one of the you in the mountain. Essentially, they're the villains that, spoiler alert, aren't the who you think it is at the beginning. See, Rob, that's the doctor. Yeah, but that's not the he's not the analog for Peter Stormare. He's a a psych ward doctor. Yeah, because it is Peter Stormare in the in the. It resembles him a little bit. Yeah, it does, yeah, but it's not meant to be. That's definitely a different. That's a different move. Well, probably because I think that Peter Stormare is. <laughs> I don't know, man. Did you watch Prison Break? That is true. That's a good show. I love Prison Break. It's not on Netflix anymore. You're not missing anything. It's terrible. Don't be. I. You know what? We were building. I have a great oh. report up to this point. What is wrong with you? First season is okay. After first that, season is amazing. Anyway, the first, the first it, season is absolutely spectacular. If Andrea doesn't like it, your opinion is awful. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's dramatic, but also I accurate. Mean, <laughs> <that's it. laughs> no, the show definitely goes off the rails after the first season. Though you have to admit that. Everyone on the, the show is whining. Everyone, so everyone's ridiculous. whining. Everyone, they're all whining. Everyone is whining. Because they're in prison. Stop whining. Not- <laughs> okay. There it comes. One guy gets into prison on purpose and he's still did whining. You watch because he wanted to save his, 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 his brother. Michael was not whiny, he was conniving and and, and, and whining. And, no, oh, he had a plan and everything before. kept stirring from the plan. You should know better than anyone but if something never, stirs away from the plan, you're gonna be fucking whiny. I would never make a plan that involves breaking into prison. If I was into prison. If you were wrongfully in prison, do you not think that I would just lawyer myself up and get you out? You would just talk no to death. <laughs> okay, yeah, but like, let's be real here. That wasn't really an option for prison break. I mean, you didn't have time. Government is. Yeah, have nothing to do with it. Government conspiracy. These kids in the railroad, they were working on that. Yeah, that's hard to train. Aha. Uh-huh. I know. I don't you, just, like you just have to make sure you stay track. Unpopular you know? opinions. I don't okay. like Back to the Future either. Oh, okay, I'm out. <laughs> and how do we end the stream, Eric? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I don't Aren't listen. You? Did you just? <laughs> he just shot himself. <laughs> okay, now I don't hate it. So I don't how hate do I it. End this okay, game? it's not. I don't think it's a bad movie. I don't. Which I'm one? Just it's not Back like to the future. everyone's like top ten movies of all time. Top five movies. Of it all is time. in the top ten no, list. It's not even in the top ten. What? For you. When you what? think just when you think it's done, more bad shit happens. It's just it's. Yeah, what do you want shit. out of a movie that's not Leonardo DiCaprio? Well, that's a good place to start. I mean, but I don't know. I just don't he's think it's I like it. He sinks in a boat and freezes to death. No. Okay, bad shit is happening and he dies. But you never think it's the end of the movie. Yeah, you do the Back boat scene. You think it's the end of the movie and then they're like, oh, but wait, there's more. Like, I, it's, I would argue when she throws his corpse in the water, they could have rolled the credits at that point. I'd forgotten about the uh, the framing story of the old woman on the boat by that point. I'm excited to see how I'm like moving around when I watch the stream back. Oh, I took some pictures. <laughs> it's. I think I'm gonna post some pictures. Good. Funny. You're funny as H. You're funny as H. Funny AF. I'm trying to be Fnaf. hip. Funny be hips like the kids. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about FNAF. Speaking of horror games. Five Nights at Freddy's. I oh. absolutely. That's getting made into a movie. Game. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it either. You know what? what? So here's, Five Nights at Freddy's. Ho- hold on, hold on. Sweet here's idea. the deal. If you go base purely on the first game, I didn't get it either. Um, what don't you get? You're Night Watchman. No, no, no. But like, what's the hype? You yeah, know what that's I mean? exactly what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand <laughs> the, the hype. And why. Yeah, like when the first game came out, people were absolutely losing their mind. They're like, Armageddon, best horror game ever, game of the year, greatest of all time. I mean, it's not bad by any means. It's not good, good by any means. Have seen these horror games are not appealing. I would say it is good. It's not amazing like the hype. I agree with you there. It is good. But so here's the thing. But you got to consider the, the platform size. 
PC well, and mobile. Mobile. Well, it is also on mobile, but, but it wasn't mobile first. You no, know, but the, wow. the success came from the mobile. Mm, I don't think so. Well, I didn't hear anything about the... Trevor says that Kevin and David voted to stream off the TV. Alright, so... Trevor, you go ahead and tell them to pack up and call Phyllis. I'm trading you for David. David can go home with Kevin. You can stay with me. You get out of my house. Um, so, what are we going to say? No, no. So, like, I, I had already heard a whole bunch of stuff about Five Nights well before the mobile port came out. Like, the hype train started before the mobile port. Um, See, I feel like, for me, anyways, I guess they caught the name of this one. Well, it, it was much bigger in the anime con community than the gaming community. It's a weird thing. When the initial PC movies came out, it was huge. Uh, was it just for the characters then? I, I don't know. I never understood it. I don't understand. I didn't understand it then. I don't understand it now. Um, for those who have never played the game, the, the, the premise is insanely simple. You're an overnight security guard at what amounts to a Chuck E. Cheese analog where the animatronics are um, semi defensive And so the reason you need an overnight security guard is that they close is that uh, they're designed to be free roaming uh, with AI, but due to an event known as the Vice 87, they're not allowed to free roam during the day when they're facing the restaurant, and so they have to be allowed to roam the restaurant at night to stop their uh, mechanics from locking up. And so all you have to do is watch the restaurant to make sure that nothing goes wrong, and you do that by interfacing with this. Uh, security monitor in front of you and you rotate through camera angles to various security cameras uh, and occasionally the animatronics will move. And so at that point the survival aspect of it comes in. Uh, you have a door on either side of you and as the animatronics move you can track their movements towards you via the uh, um, you can track their, their movements towards you via the security monitor because each camera, it, it, like the, the camera system is on a, a flat floor plan and you click on a box and it you like what camera you want to look at so you know which camera you're looking at in relation to where you are and if you see the animatronic, you know, they're coming at you and then you have audio cues as to which side of you they're on and so if they get too close, you close the door but you can't just leave the doors closed because obviously that would be too simple so the doors operate on a certain amount of battery power. So if you leave them closed for too long, the batteries will drain. And once the battery power is out, you can't close the door at all until they fully recharge. And so every time you use it, it drains a little bit. And it doesn't really that it drains, obviously. So that's where you get the resource in. And that's it. Like, that's the whole thing. So like on the camera, you see the animatronic is, close the door in your face, you right? So that they don't come in and murder you. Um, because they will kill you because they think you're an endos endo cell. Exo? Which one's the inside? Endo, endo right? Endo. Endo. Yeah. I don't really think like that. They think you're uh, an animatronic endo cell and that it is outside of your animal suit. And so if they catch you out of your suit, they'll stuff you in it and you die. Um, so that's it. That's really it. the whole game. You got the guy with five five nine. Um, <laughs> that. You know it in such great detail to make it really cool. We'll, we'll get to that. That's the main line. Um, but so that, like, that's the whole premise. So, like, it's not it's not crazy complicated. There's no uh, groundbreaking game on the And there's absolutely no game. And there's almost no story within the game. Margo hasn't reinvented the wheel. But it invented the wheel. <laughs> It is a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be real here. Let's be real here. Oh, technically, thank you, Eric. Technically, it was not the first platform. You didn't see by Wings of My Right Eye. It might not yeah. have been the first platformer, but it's the first platformer that mattered. It's the first platform that had commercial success. That's right. That level, but anyway. So anyway, the point is, there's nothing about it hey, to found a secret. qualify the oh. type of hype that the game got, is, is what I mean by that. I and think so... What blew my mind at the time is like there's no story, 
the premise is kind of dumb, um, and the gameplay is is meh at best. What's the big deal? Reactions. Reaction videos. It is. It's all jump scares. It is all jump scares. Reaction videos. People recording themselves playing it and watching reaction videos. Yeah, but that's what I mean. That's the mass appeal because then all of a sudden, I want experience. I want experience. Yeah. You guys got dressed up for the experience. They apparently live too. And negates the movie. Um, So, this brings me to why I know so much about the gameplay mechanics. Um, You built the game. I did. Secretly, I am Scott Coffin. <laughs> um, and now uh, you know his name. Not secretly anymore. <laughs> so, I'm a huge fan of a YouTube channel called Game Theory, and I actually got really into Game Theory, um, not because of uh, Five Nights, but because of all the other stuff that he does, again, if you're not familiar. Um, basically, he takes, you know, uh, cues and, and, and hints about plot threads inside of some video game franchises, and then comes up with a crazy theory about like what's really going on behind the scenes. Um, like, there's a, a very popular fan theory that uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, Link is dead, and that each of the zones and bosses and whatever that you encounter are the various stages of grief. And so, like, this is a long standing. Yeah, this is a long standing fan theory. A lot of people have put well, this out here's my, my favorite part. Yeah, here we go. We'll talk about roller coaster moments. Are you ready? Yeah. What is this? Oh, my belly. What is this, Temple of Doom? No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yes. But anyway, so, anyway, Game Theory did that, but, but what uh, Matt Pat, the guy that does Game Theory does, is he gets like super, super in-depth to how these things line up. And he does it for all kinds of things. Uh, he did one for uh, the... Two animals from Metroid. This, this uh, is where this looks so cool. Like, yeah. What the? Holy cow. Uh, so this is the... I. Well, okay. So this is what I think this is. I think this is how Josh uh, used the doctor. He used the doctor. Yep. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. You want to make me get me? Um. But so the point is, you know, the channel does a lot of stuff along those lines. Um, but eventually he hit on Freddy. And so I was like, all right, I want to see what the hype is. This guy's doing a theory about what the, the uh, ongoing story is in the background. Let me just check it out real quick. And so I know way more about Five Nights than anyone who's never played the game should because I watch all the game theories. And so every time a new game theory, or every time a new game would come out, he would do an updated game theory using the information from the new game to help further fill in what he believed to be the story ongoing behind the games. And so we're on, I want to say the sixth one at this point. Yeah, and then they did a sister. Game well, that's too. including sister motivation. I think. Okay. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure there are five numbered ones. There are uh, four numbered ones, and then sister location, and then uh, I think the last one is called like Bastard and Keep the Reality or something. And I actually watched him do a live stream uh, of him playing through the, the pizzeria simulator the first time. And it was kind of fun because he and his wife are very animated people when it comes to the jump scare reactions. It was very, very funny to watch them react to stuff, as you were mentioning before. Um, but then I also watched the subsequent game theory that he made after completing the game and coming back to what he thought the underlying, underlying story was. And, uh, so if you follow the plot of the game, as well as the now oh, okay. two books... One hit? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, he murders you. Um, the plot of all the games plus the two books that are out, you find out what's really going on. The first game theory he did on Five Nights uh, speculated that it was supposed to be a parallel for a story that happened in real life where somebody broke into a Chuck E. Cheese style restaurant after clothes and murdered four people. Like in real life. And he was like, so here's the parallel. This person got killed in the kitchen and this animatronic uh, is primarily found in an area that would be on the floor plan the same place as the kitchen. And the if so facto, ergo, you know what I mean? Like, he, If so, go facto. Yeah. So he, uh, you know, that, that was his original theory, was that it was supposed to be a parallel to the real life event. 
But then as more games came out, he was like, okay, you get these little tidbits of hints that are like, this character wears bow tie in this team, but not the other one. So what that means is one of them is a hallucination, or you know, stuff along that line. It's not a literal one. But, uh, so you follow through the, the, the story of all these games, and it's about this guy, uh, uh, William Atkin, was one of two guys that created the original Animal Crossing, um, and he had a wife and two kids. But he was also like Oh, I forgot to shoot shit. that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when you were looking at it, like, uh... I thought that, uh... He was also a Freddy Krueger analog. He murdered children. And so the animatronics get progressively more and more complicated because they're more and more involved in the child murder. And so, like, that's the underlying story. And I'm like, as you get really into the, uh, the rest of what's going on, it gets to be way more interesting. But most of this information is stuff that you can only learn either by like reading the books or by playing through the games and getting like all of the different endings. Like one of his original theories included extrapolating when the gameplay would have taken place based on what minimum wage was at uh, at particular times and how much you would pay for your five nights of work to how much minimum wage was to when that would have been the minimum wage. And so that's why this game takes place in 1985, or 92, or, you know, whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah. That crap. Um, but ultimately that wound up not really meaning much other than establishing a timeline for when these horrific events would take place at different locations. And as the game progressed, they got more and more complicated. So the first thing you really get to be close the door or get jump scared in that game play mechanic. So yeah. By, like, the third game, there are mini games where you like have to distribute cake at a birthday party. But if you wander off the beaten path to these other places, you'll get these other cup scenes that further explain, oh yeah, this purple guy wasn't just delivering cake, he was also giving some children to fall into this back room and then stuffing them in the end. Yeah, it's a very dark uh, game. There, what were we talking about? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Scary stuff? I guess. I, if you've never checked out Game Theory, I highly recommend checking it out. Especially if you are, you are already a fan of the Five Nights games. Like I said, he's got a ton of theories up there. And Watching uh, GT Live, watching him do them live playthroughs is very comical. Yeah, I'm really really good. This part is my favorite. It's like a top of the Is this like for the end of the one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So no hidden penetrating in the first. No, this game is cross the point. So it's here there. I'm so mad that show went off in the other day. And 99% right right. of it was the right. Yeah, it wasn't the And then they tried to reboot it, and the reboot was turned to trash. I never watched it. They kept repeating it. I tried to watch the first episode, but I just didn't have time, and I just watched it last night. So. The first season and a half is great up until when you know the right of strike happened. It's a oh. short season. Well, I thought that was the first two seasons were the first season. Yeah, was it as well? Whatever, yeah. whatever yeah, it was the season. short season. Yeah, the second season was, was the one where Hero went back in time and that. Happened. That was, st yeah, yeah, that was still a good season. It's when the writer's strike happened, they started repeating storyline yeah. characters. And they didn't know what to do with the actual part. Well, because they had to up a plan in a couple of plot lines. Like, they had the brother and the sister and the power of the balance and the writer out. And then you come back from the writer's strike and it's like. Now, she doesn't actually need him, which is murder real quick. And then, yeah. Silo will teach her how yeah. to control her powers, and it's like that doesn't make any sense. By the way, oh, great Silo. Oh, oh for real. I Highlight. Oh. Go. I hated him. He was the first time I loved him, and then I really loved him in Star Trek, and then I really hated him in American Horror Story. My only issue with Silo was there were so many points where like, no, I loved him as a character. I extremely enjoyed the character. The issue was like you got to a point where like. 
You're like, oh good, he's on our side now. Like he's still not the best person in the world, but he's like he's seen the light. And then all of a sudden it's like that never now this other they, asshole is gonna fuck him up and he's gonna turn it. Well, they, it was one of the few shows that truly had me believing in menacing the menacing value in the villain. Like... Nope. Okay. Like, it, it's, it's rare that I'm like, oh, this, this dude's gonna mess things up and he's really imposing. Yeah. And he was definitely, of all yeah, those that values... Freaking, so nailed that role. Yeah, he's nailed every role in his That was the first time. This is the reason why I kind of want to watch um, American Horror Story, like the later season. It's really, really good. The, one, the, two, the two seasons I've seen, because I'm so afraid to watch it by myself now, he, he plays a really, really good character. Like, the second season, he's absolutely like, terrifying, but amazing. Now, was Heroes his first big role? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was my first. Yeah, that was my first exposure to him. Yeah, he did that, then he did Star Trek. Yeah, I mean, I've been a fan of yeah. that. I've been a big fan of Star Hey, we're back on the six. Hi, yeah. everybody. Who's Welcome, watching? new viewers. Woo-hoo. Thanks for staying up late with us. Go follow our Twitch and our YouTube. Yeah. Some more amazing content on the shooting Hey, our Instagram. I just posted <laughs> a goofy <laughs> picture on there. Oh, okay. Yeah, new this week. Um, we have an Instagram now. Behind the scenes stuff. Cool collectibles we have. Closing kids to video games. Oh, oh, oh! So a lot of cool content there. I still think this is good video games. Like, uh... Not to be confused with the phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm like Eric's Instagram very good one. Couple of all of there. <laughs> I remember this part being like... Not like super technical, but like technical enough. I remember the band and what they were talking about. Doing it. Hanging your hair. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, yeah, that was fun. 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 Yeah, that was the recording is going to switch. I could pass on well. that part, but then I'm going to. I mean, I'm intrigued to the same part of the switch. I just recently picked up Dark Souls 3 again, just today, to play for a little bit. I just forgot how much I can love that game. Now, is Dark Souls, uh, which is better, Dark Souls or Bloodborne? Dark Souls. Bloodborne, Bloodborne is a very, very, very close game. So the only one I played out of all of them was Dark Souls 1, and I gave up. Yeah, yeah, I didn't start with Frank I've never played Game But I was late to the I didn't have the console for it. Yeah, yeah I was late to the PS3. What is there up? I did not know you didn't play Demon's Souls. There was I a PS3, right? All play it. Yeah. Yeah, I was late to the PS3 game, but I didn't get a PS3 for a little bit of time. I uh, scooped up one of them launch models. Nope, I ain't paying 650 for 20 of these Oh god, yeah, I remember that. Well, there was 20. You pulled out? Oh! Yeah, but the $600 one was 60. Oh, was that the 60 one? Yeah. Backwards compatible? Yep. But the, I didn't get it right away either. I got it refurbished at GameStop for like 300 bucks. That's what I did mine when they put up a slim model. I got the last fat boy that was 80 gig. Uh, I got the slim Fine, at some I got point for some reason. I don't remember why. And then I got the super slim when they did the special so edition red dot one one. It's got the slide top. Yeah. Yeah. I hated the slide top, but I wanted the red one. So. Yeah, the slide top looked cheap to me. What did you do to my body? Oh well, my god! Cheap. It was really kind of garbage. <laughs> it's a little too. I've been a day one adopter of Xbox cars. So. What is that? I. Let's break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's creepy. You can lean forward. Probably not. That's weird. Yeah, do full motion. Full oh. the fifth is. He, he, he could get up and just he could just get up and walk out. He could. Yeah. No, I think he'll get the out of screen range. Yeah. And I'll also no, probably pull the PlayStation off. <laughs> That'd make for a good stream. And then I might have to end you. The so race says uh, B frost. Is that the last level? I I think so. I think it is. Yep. Yep. That's it. That's so it. fun fact about this game. Uh, 
since we're at the credits point, it, this game actually has multiple endings. Really? Yeah. Depending on how well you do, whether you get all the collectibles and what difficulty you're on. I was going to say, I wonder how it varied based on a rail shooter. Yeah. Because, I mean, it makes sense for multiple endings because until okay. dawn, yeah. you know, it's, it, it, it's the big push for that game is that it's different each, or can be potentially Dante, different. Dante, Hannah, and Beth. Those are the only... Uh, so really, what do you guys... Is Death the song that was the ending opening? It was in the original Until Dawn. Yeah, yeah, I can't hear it. Well, no, 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 but it, like, it just scrolled by in the credits. Oh. I'm pretty sure that was the opening theme, wasn't it? Probably. So what are your guys' thoughts on VR? Is that something you'd want to see make a return? Is that something... Are you asking us? Hey, he's asking the viewers. Audience. I mean, you guys, too. I was, love it. Was this fun to, to yeah. show off? This is this is the first time I've seen a person VR. So for me, it's my first exposure to it. I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to do at least one more VR episode, whether I do it on my own stream or whether we do it Batman? weekly dosage. Uh, no, they're finally porting the Rick and Morty game. Oh, nice. And I am definitely getting that. Rick and Morty game? Um, There's a Rick and Morty Rick and VR. Morty VR. What? Yeah. It's on Oculus. It's been out on Oculus for almost a year now. Uh, Oculus. I said Oculus. <laughs> there's there's a Rick and Morty game Oops. coming to the Switch. Is it the same one or is that different? I don't think so. No, it's, no. it's the one we're talking about is strictly VR. Okay. So I don't it know must how be they pull it off on they're the trying Switch to or what I'm sweaty, yeah. guys. Could be. IP. Could be. And my glasses are all like super foggy. Super foggy. I'm holding the the headset like this so we can see the grids. Yeah. But uh. No, like I said, whether whether I do that as a solo stream or whether or not we do that as another group experiment, I'm definitely getting that. I yeah. do I do want to do another VR stream, but I kind of want to do like a, a longer game. I want to see Batman, to be honest. Batman is Batman is a, a I would play the show such a Batman short again. one though. Yeah, but I think mean, it's fine. Only like twenty minutes. That's fine. We could talk about Batman as a but topic. But it took us a while yeah. to do everything, you know. About an hour. I feel like we could redo literally everything top to bottom in like 45 minutes now. Tops. That's a decent stream time. Tops. Yeah. I'm talking like if we screw up. But even can, then, it gives us an intro, all outro. In. Yeah, we have yeah. talking points, Batman history. And listen, I'm not, I'm not arguing against yeah. it. I'm just saying there's there's not quite as much. I was more thinking this. <sighs> Resident Evil 7. Yeah. <laughs> in VR. God, that game is so good. I think if we're doing that... That should be the debut of someone on camera. No, nope. never happening. <laughs> <laughs> what if you guys donated to the channel to make it happen? Yeah, how much would it take? How much would it take? Hundred thousand dollars. No, let's be real here. <laughs> Unreal. Hundred thousand dollars. Pay off our house. Monopoly money. Pay off our house. <laughs> That's not pay how old you. Pay off our college loans. Hundred thousand would not pay off our house. Come on now. Then two hundred thousand. Fifty fifty. Oh Jesus. Whoa. How much would it take to vote her out of the room? <laughs> It wouldn't take much. Literally, there's two of you. Okay. <laughs> I think we got the majority already over there. Yeah, but let's the be future. real. Comment right now. I want to see a list of comments. I if you're watching this on YouTube. I'm playing Resident Evil 7. If we get 100... No, just to be on I think it's just oh, camera. If we get 100 why comments... Why does that picture look like I have colorful nipples? That's why I posted it. If we get 100 funny. comments and 100 <laughs> likes on this video on YouTube, we'll find a way to make her play it. Toasted Oak... Grill and market liked it. <laughs> we have an interestingly diverse uh, group of hey, followers on Instagram. They're in Nova. We should go there. Get a sponsorship. Get a sponsorship. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, speaking of sponsorships, I'm trying to reach out to someone about, about whoever myself. runs Toasted Oaks. Toasted social Oak media grill. loves Underdog. Or PlayStation. Underdog? Or virtual reality. What's Underdog? We did it, guys. Do 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 do. Oh, you're going to make everyone stick at the end here? Alright, uh, are you coming back over? Sorry. Yeah, trying to, to close this up. Hit the cam. Cam only. Hey. Yeah. So, yes, virtual reality is going to happen again. Um, <laughs> we've actually yes. got a couple other games on here that we could do just as like a goof off stream. Uh, I've got Carnival Games VR. I've got uh, my hair is just so. Um, we were just sweating for two hours. Job Simulator. Oh, Job Simulator is so much fun. You'd probably love that. I think she should jump. You, you, that. you, you would, would love that. Job Simulator. Really just like the simulator. surgeon thing. Except but it, well, jobs. there's four jobs. There's chef, car mechanic, 
um, office simulator and convenience store simulator. Okay, I will totally try that. Convenience store simulator is like you can take the cups, you can put them underneath the, the icy machines, do that, and they mix the colors. You can take hot dogs, throw them at customers. Ooh, okay, I'll put okay. that. Let's see. So there you go. That's super good. 100 likes. We'll put it on camera to play it. Yeah. That's all it takes. Just 100. Yeah. Come on. You can do uh, it. I've also got PlayStation VR Worlds at the house right now, as well as uh, uh, a game called Loading Human. Don't know what that is. It's, Does it ever it's load? a VR uh, <laughs> RPG. <laughs> you got like imprint from the A thing. VR yeah. RPG. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was PSA fun. Kids, I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Was, I always love playing VR games, so I'm glad you guys were able to see it. Uh, I kind of want to. I'm gonna switch over to the gameplay thing because I didn't get to see it on here how it looked. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I, I think cool. the I think the layout works out really well. Mm -hmm. oh. So nice job on that design. So yeah, very good. Me. Uh, self high five. Yeah. Um. So yeah. It's Next week we're going to put out some suggestions. It's Community Votes Week. I have some pitches I'm going to make for you guys to choose from. I'm sure they have some ideas of what they'd like to play next week. But every week we rotate. All three of us have picked our games already for the month. So now it turns to you guys, the community, to pick what we're going to play next. We'll provide you with some options. We'll narrow it down and make the announcement late in the week. And that's what we'll end up playing. And then it'll circle back to one of us again and we'll go through rotation. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. Were you about to say something? Yeah, I was just going to reiterate that, uh, you know, we're going to try to get the voting out there for the community pick as early as possible going forward, and then once a month we'll play whatever you guys pick, within reason. Yeah, I'm it, not it'll gonna be from one of, the, one of the options we provide you with, because if yeah. we, don't, we don't have it, we can't really play yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not going to run out and spend a ton of money on that ridiculous Xbox. But if there is a game, game that we don't have that you want us to play... You can always you give us enough uh, warning, or if you want to find a way to send us a copy of that game, we'll find a way to play it. Yeah. So. Yeah. But that we'll play pretty much anything you send us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. That being said, we're gonna wrap it up here for today. Glad you guys are able to join us to watch. Don't forget to follow our uh, Twitch stream, uh, Twitch.com/doseofnerdacumen. Follow us on Twitter at nerd underscore acumen, and search for us on YouTube. Subscribe. And click the little uh, bell and let us know, or so we can let you know when we go live. You said Instagram, Twitter. Oh yeah, we have. I did say uh, Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. We just had an Instagram, so I just. Forgot Instagram, about it. Twitch. Instagram is, Instagram is dose underscore of underscore nerd underscore acumen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash dose of nerd acumen. Now it's a brand new page. It's likable. Yay! It's not so. a group now. It's a page. Yep, we have a page in cool. addition to the group. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. So the group is more so the community posting. The page is official. So you can find all the content there. Follow us and see all the nerdy stuff we do. Yeah. And uh, from from all of us here, you guys have a good night. Thanks for coming out. Bye. Bye. Have a wonderful time. <laughs> have fun storming the castle. Have fun storming the castle. <laughs> cool.